So here's a scenario I want everybody to comment below what you would do. If your life was in danger, or the life of your family, if somebody kidnapped your kid and you wanted to go after him, correct? What do you think would be the Christian appropriate approach to do in that scenario? Would it be right to attack them or to simply throw them and tell them to stop? What would you do? Comment below. I'm dying to know this because I'm still searching for this answer myself. Back in middle school slash high school, I did get into a few fights and not to cope, but this was before I had a true understanding of Christ's ways. But after I gained some more wisdom and understanding of Christianity, I have different thoughts now of physical aggression. A lot of you martial arts fanatics who are also devout Christians are very passionate about fighting and showing off your skills, correct? But at the same time, you have that little spiritual feeling of guilt holding you back, questioning if fighting self-defense is moral according to God. So this is going to be really challenging because none of us really know God's thoughts on this subject matter. That being said, we can make some interpretations of some relevant scripture. Let's get it. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20 has to do with stewardship of the body, looking after our body, protecting it because it's the holy temple, correct? And it says, don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself for God bought you at a high price. So you must honor God with your body. So this, I would interpret it as defending our body. If somebody's trying to hurt us, break our arm, cut our arm off until we bleed out, that's a temple. We can't let anybody attack the temple which God resides in. So I would interpret that as, yeah, we have to defend ourselves. However, what I would do in a scenario like that if somebody has me cornered, I wouldn't knock them to the ground and continue beating and beating and beating until they're all bludgeoned and half conscious. I would probably just show them my strength by taking them down to the ground with a judo throw and pinning them. Just pinning them, holding them down until they run out of strength and be like, all right, you've seen you can't fight back. Are you done? Are you gonna keep it up? Because if you are, I'm not gonna let you go. They're gonna be afraid of you because they know you can whoop them. You just threw them in the air. So comp below how you would interpret that verse. But then we have a little bit of contradiction here in Matthew chapter five, verse 39 that says, but I say, do not resist an evil person. If someone slaps you on the right cheek, offer the other cheek also. This is going to be very opposing towards what they teach us to whatever martial art you're in. They teach you to defend yourself. But here's my take. I would try my best to not hit back and engage in an altercation. I would never use self-defense, anything that I know, unless my life was in danger. But then at the same time, that might be a sign from God saying that your time's up and he wants you up there with him. It's very hard to know exactly what to do with your self-defense. Romans 12, 17, 21 also says, never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everybody can see that you're honorable. Do all that, you can live in peace with everyone. So if you're a Christian conservative man into self-improvement and you wanna take your spiritual life up to the next level, you wanna improve your physique, become more masculine, this is the place for you. So I highly recommend you hit the subscribe button to join the community. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. That last verse is pretty powerful. So let's not use our self-defense, our physical skills to hurt others, but we can beat others with kindness as Christ did countless times. It's super challenging because our flesh wants to do evil and hurt others, especially our egos get in the way. If we get slapped, you're not going to want to offer your cheek. You're going to want to beat them up. You don't want to throw them, correct? But we have to resist the flesh and we have to remember Romans chapter 12 and beat evil with kindness as Christ did. Here's some verses that have to do with discipline and self-control. Galatians chapter 5, 22 to 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Throughout my brief research here in the Bible, I didn't find a single verse saying that we should fight other people, that we should defend ourselves and hurt other people physically. It does say though in John chapter 18 verse 10, when Jesus was arrested, then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. And then Jesus told Peter the following, he who lives by the sword, he dies by it. Then he picked up the Pharisee's ear, put it back on his head and healed it. So Jesus was always 
our example of peace, gentleness, anti-violence. And that really gets to our soul because innately human beings are ego-driven. We want to show off. We want to hurt people. We want to always look good, correct? If somebody attacks us or insults us, we want to make them feel small. But the Bible contradicts that. And as Christians, devout Christians, we really have to meditate on Scripture and fight the flesh of wanting to hurt others. Now, I'm yet to find an answer as to what to do if somebody is threatening your life. If they have a knife on your neck, if they have guns, if they're trying to threaten you by hurting your family, if they kidnap your son and you want to go after him, what do you do? What do you do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. But comment below. Comment below what you think would be right to do in a situation like that. In the meantime, I'll see you in this next video, which is my judo workout in my garage. Check it out to get some ideas for your own training.